A very warm good morning to our respected guest, respected teacher, and all my dear friends present over here. My name is Shazia Anjum. I belong from Shimali Mohalla, Shehgarhati. Now I am doing my graduations from SMSG College in Botany Honors, Shehgarhati. Today I like to share some of my words on difficulties in our lives with all, with all my guys present over here, with all my friends present over here. Is anybody here? Is anybody here who can tell that I have no problems in my life? Raise your hand. Is anybody? You will not find a single person who will say that I have no problems in my life. Even you will ask from a small child who is just four to five, four to five years old. He will also say that he has many challenges in his life. He has to wake up early in the morning. He has to go to school. He has to do his homework and many more. Go across the globe, you will not find a single person who will say that I have no problems in your life. You will not find at all. Life is just about problems. Life is just about challenges. Life is just about to fight. It is not a bed of roses. But a wise man accepts those challenges and he loves to accept those challenges and conquer the world. A person who accepts those challenges and fight with the world is respected and he say, and the people say to him that he is really a talented person. Suppose, if you are having any problem, uh, it is not a way to suppose, just uh, believe in my words, that if you are getting any problems in your life, then it is from the God. It is from the God that you are giving problem. You, the, he, he has given problem to you, to because he wants to see you strong. He wants to see you strong enough to fight the world. Uh, take an example. If there is a World Cup or a tournament between India and the other team, uh, means uh, they can a strong team. Take a strong team such as Australia. Yeah. Uh, if uh, they have scored 350 runs and India has just scored 250 runs, then only the three wickets has left and India is just about to lose the match. Then at the end, when this money come on the stage and he makes 351 runs, then what will happen? The world will praise him. Not only his friends, not only his families, not only the people of India, but the whole globe will praise him. Why? Because it is he didn't challenge by him. And if India has scored just 120 runs and it wants, then what will happen? Do you think the people will praise him? Majority of us will not praise. Why? Because he is doing that which a majority of people can do with great ease. And majority of people has done it with great ease. You have done graduations, you have done intermediate. It is not a big thing because millions of people have done it. And they are doing now. If you are doing something which is impossible for majority of the people and you make it possible, then really you are talented. I can see that success without difficulties and accomplishment without challenge are not victory. Uh, in the holy book of Muslims, the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us that we are a shakul makhlukat. We are best in the people, means, no, sorry, we are best in his creation. He created many things. He created animals, he created birds and many living beings, many living organisms. But what? He said that we are a shakul makhlukat. Means we are the best in the people. Then you have to believe that you are. You have to believe in yourself that you are. You have to believe in the words of the God that exactly that power is inside you. You just have to, you just have to come out. You just have to come out, just have to express yourself. Just have to fight with your negative thoughts. But what we do now today, if we got any problems or challenges in our life, then we start to complain. We start to compare ourselves with other people. We start to say that why they are not suffering, why the problems is not with them. Why it is with me? Why I am suffering? Instead of thinking that the problems you have got is to make you strong, you don't believe. If I was, I will say now that the problems in, his, in your life has not come to destroy you. Will you believe in my words? Yes. You will believe. You are good enough to believe. But majority of the people will not believe. They will say, no, this is problem. This is with me. They don't take it as a challenge. They take it as a problem. 
So if you have told to that, that problem that it is a problem, then it is. If you will say no, it is a challenge, then you will think it is a challenge and you will get over that. And the people who overcome those challenges, they fight with it. The people say that he or she is really talented. And you are respect, you are really saluted by majority of the people. Uh, let's take an example. Yeah. Are we afraid of snakes? Right? Are we? Yeah. We have fear of snakes. Uh, but uh, what happens if the snakes comes in your room? Huh. You will you will go out from your room, you will escape from your room, right? You will run out. But if you are in your room and the snake comes in your room, then what will you do? You will fight with the snake, right? Yes. Even you will not think what the thing I am having. I am having a stick or I am having a pen. I am having a small thing which, uh, which is not meant to fight with the snakes. But you will. Why? Because it is a hidden talent inside you. It is really inside you. You just have to believe in yourself that it is. Uh, have you heard about Tipu Sultan? Yes. Have you? Yes. Yeah. He is known as Tiger of Mysore, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. So what, what he did? What he did? He found the tiger with his own hands, right? Yes. Why? Because it is a talent which is inside him. We have talent. Really we have. If the God is saying that you are the special one, then we have to believe in his words that we are really special. Yes. And you know the best way to overcome your problem is to believe in God. If you truly firmly believe in him, the words of him, then you will, you will overcome your problem with great ease. Uh, there is a live example. President of IICC. Do you know him? President of Indian Islamic Culture uh, Sainu, do you know? Uh, Sirajuddin Qureshi, right? He studied under street lights. He underwent many difficulties in his life. And now he has become the president of IICC and one of the great entrepreneurs. So what brings it? What brings that things? What happens with him that he has become just he has become successful? What? It is a talent inside him and he over he used that talent to overcome his fear, to overcome his whatever difficulties he was facing. Each of us, each one of us are special in our own way. You don't need to compare yourself with other. It will not benefit you. It will only hurt you. It will only give you negative thoughts. And the best ever example, and it will be the best ever example, that our Prophet alayhi salam may peace be upon him. He underwent many problems in his life, many difficulties in his life. Then what we are, if he faces any challenges, any difficulties in his life, for whom the whole universe was made, right? For whom the whole universe was made, if he underwent many problems in his life, then what are we? The problems in, in your life will be there with you, will be there with you, will till your death. It will be with you, it will not leave you. It will say that I am very strong, I am very tough, I am like a mountain, I will destroy you. But you have to say to those problems that I am better than you. I, if you will destroy me, I can make myself. If you can put me down, I can put myself up. You cannot destroy me. You cannot let me to think negative. I will think positive. Whatever the negative you want to give me, you can. But I will do the positive one. You have to say. To whom you have to say? You have to say these words to your problems, to your difficulties, right? Yes. So, thank you everyone. I like to conclude my... With a very... With a quote of a very famous personality, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam.